Okay, we're at Coco K. Perfect day at Coco K. We just got off the ship. We got our anthem is over here that we just got off, and then we got the Independence over here, parked next to us. This is our second time here. We were here on the Wonder back in uh, March of this year. So this is our first or second time here at Coco K. A little more chill. I did do the water park, so I might go there just for a little bit. I wasn't going to, but it was on sale, so I wouldn't have bought it anyway. Yeah, I don't know, and they're different colors, so like, they go to, like, this is red, that's green, that was blue, so the, the different colors lead to the different places. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Just taking a walk through Sandy Lane, it says. On our way to Harbor Beach. This is the second <clears throat> kids splash play area. That one was that pirate ship up front. Got quite a few little water slides and all the splash things. <clears throat> splash pad. For young kids to have fun at. The zip line is new. I don't remember there being one here before. They made the zip line course longer. <laughs> so this is Harbor Beach. This is where we sat last time. It's like a nice little harbor. We got a beach. That's Harbor Beach. The ships are back there in the distance. And the zip line there. And then they have the eating place here, sitting on the deck. They can get food up there, and drinks, desserts, things like that. Okay, we're gonna head to the Pearl Water Park. I got a ticket to go in. I wasn't gonna do it this time, but I changed my mind because it was a 50% off sale, so it was like only $40. So, I figured what the heck, we'll go in. So, I guess this could be a little trick. There's a little secret entrance over here off the pathway that I didn't know about. Last time I went all the way around to the main entrance. So this kind of takes you into the back of it, which is kind of cool. So next you have hidden seating over here, kind of in the shade. And then this brings you kind of like right in the middle of the park. Last time we had to kind of walk a little ways. So this is pretty cool. Plus like easy way back to where um, we kind of camped out by the food and the water over there. So we can head back that way too. The kids were here. This is the kind of thing they love to do. They have the lily pads and the ropes. And there actually has a climbing wall on the other end too. 
They'll be having a blast. We'll bring them here soon sometime. And then there's the big water, the inner tube water slides. I'm debating if I want to do those again. <laughs> You'll see. I don't know if I feel like climbing stairs today. This is the tallest water slide in North America. I went on it last time we were here. Um, but you gotta climb all them stairs. <laughs> it's like really high up there. I don't know. I don't feel like climbing stairs today, but it's fun to just walk around. Oh, someone just went down, I saw the body swirling around inside of there. Let's see, they should be coming out any second. Any second, they should be coming out. Here they come. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I didn't go down these slides last time because I don't even remember this part. I think these are the drop slides. Where you drop out of the um, thing and you go straight down. And they go into the kind of twirls there. I just heard the drop noise, so they should be coming out any second. Yep, here comes one. Oh, you hit pretty hard. <laughs> oh. Oh my. <laughs> Here's the wave pool. I went in this last time and it was kind of nice. I might do it right now. They have a place over here to put shoes. So I might go drop my sandals over there then get in for a few minutes. There's people zip lining above the wave pool. It's kind of fun. So the water is actually kind of cold. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I might not go all the way in. I don't know. It's uh, maybe I just gotta get used to it. About the last time I was here, it was actually it was warm. So that was back in March, I think. Maybe it gets a little bit chillier <laughs> in the uh, December. Single tube ride. Since I'm by myself, I can't do a double unless I run into a single person again. But um, single tube one was just kind of nice. I'll try it again. There you go, some people. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! Oh, 
So we just came down the racing ladder slide over here. It was okay, but it kind of hurt my neck. <laughs> um, I guess we're going to have to pass on the big yellow one this time since I'm alone. I couldn't find someone to go with me. And then the, I did do the purple and green one a little bit earlier, and that was fun. So I think we're done with the water slides for now, and we're going to head back. So here's the beach, one of the beaches. This is the Chill Island Beach at Coco Cay. And they have hundreds, not thousands of beach chairs and umbrellas. And there's a lot that are empty. And there's two ships here, so if you come here, you should not have a problem finding a place to lounge and relax. And the water here has got like little coves, so it's actually calm. You can see another ship way out there. It's a Norwegian ship. There's another whole beach over here. And then they have those private cabanas, which I think are like around somewhere between seven and $900 while you're here. Something like that. And they were all sold out when we were here, when we checked. And they have another ones um, further over there that are actually like over the water. And uh, I know those were over $1,000 and they were sold out. Okay, so we're going to start slowly making our way back to the ship. <clears throat> They're going to go through the straw market, they call it, and look at some things to buy or souvenirs or whatever they have. And then we'll call it a day here at uh, Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Here on the ocean in the Bahamas. All the palm trees and the breeze. Here's their little straw market. Here you can walk around and do some shopping. Hats and shirts and toys and beach stuff, beach bags, things like that. We got quite a few little shops. fall asleep there and spend the day sleeping. How you did? Here's our ships over here. Independence and Anthem. We're on the Anthem on the left. It's the walkway to the island. This is Harbor Bay, Harbor Beach. Deck we were having lunch on earlier. There's the hot air balloon, but I didn't see it go up. Maybe it's too windy today. That's a real water park. Zip liners. Here's the Coco K Christmas tree. <laughs> Got a big sand sculpture. And a sleigh. It's pretty cool. Take the... Let's do the 
water park and the Harbor Beach and the Chill Island. We didn't go by the Oasis Lagoon this time or the big water um, pool is. Uh, but we actually did well, some areas we haven't gone the last time we were here. So there's still a lot of places you can go on this island. It's a big peacock. Hello. two cruise ships at the pier. Our ship's on the left and the other one's on the right. So we're making our way back onto the cruise ship after a perfect day at Coco Cay. Here goes my color changing shirt when I walk out into the sun. This is why I wore a Coco Cay today. Some people bouncing around inside that glow, that independence of the seas. Independence. 
rest of the seas behind. There they go, where we go. They're still there. They haven't left yet. They're next up. out there in the water and then there'll be tenders that transport people to the island. Luckily for us, I don't pay for Royal Caribbean, they have no fear, so we just walk out the ship. So there's the Norwegian ship and you can see one of those little tenders going to the island. So that's how they have to get to their private island, that little tiny boat. Although they're in person, they're actually kind of large. They just look small compared to a cruise ship. Must be going back to get people. I'm sure they're going to be leaving soon too. Sun over here. 